Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show, wishing you a very happy Monday. Spend most of the day. We had Money Monday today with Nathan Backrack and Ed Fink, as we do. We also had my dad's Monday morning spleen vent. You might want to replay that one on podcast. Uh, we were all talking uh, at length, with the exception of Money Monday, about the uh, murderer, um, Loeffner, uh, out in uh, Arizona. And, of course, the, the left-wing media is immediately pouncing on it. This is some sort of um, Tea Party Sarah Palin-inspired event that calls for... Um, basically what amounted to my mind, eradication of the First Amendment, eradication of the Second Amendment. I mean, the left goes crazy when things like this happen. But what do we know from history, from Cain and Abel all the way up until over Saturday, and probably between Saturday and the moment that I'm speaking right now, there have been murders, and there will be. Some preventable, but when you have someone as obviously as twisted and deranged as this guy, at least in terms of all of the reports that have come out, He's not even political, he's a nihilist. He doesn't believe in politics, in essence. This isn't a right-wing or left-wing thing. And the politician that he gunned down, and the judge that he gunned down, and the little girl that he gunned down, really don't represent some sort of radical, uh, you know, ideological figure anyway. I mean, the child aside, um, the, the, the politician, a blue dog Democrat, and in fact, in, in favor of some border security and some, some ideas that seem more conservative. This was not politically motivated so much as motivated by killing someone of a celebrity status, someone in, of, of a, a position of importance, and most importantly, someone who was murdered by a guy who was unhinged. And I think it was Ben Franklin talking about, you know, you don't want to give up any of your liberties and the, to, to, to gain some sense of comfort, and we shouldn't. Is it appropriate to want to put on more controls and restrictions over your sane, rational, uh, non law-abiding -law life because there are crazed people in the world. The reaction should not be, we need to have a law, but should be, you know, perhaps uh, we all need to be thinking about those around us and maybe pay a little closer attention to the likes of Loeffner uh, because they were exhibiting behavior that was completely unhinged before they lost it. And that's not to say everybody who's unhinged is going to lose it. But that's where family and counseling and all these other things can come in and help before and to prevent a tragic situation. And for those on the left who think it's vitriol and right wing and Tea Party this and that, I just want to direct your attention over to the uh, some, some, underscore, some clerics, members of the clergy in various religions, who would use religion to twist the minds of young people into thinking that murder is an appropriate way of advancing your cause. It happens all over the place. It doesn't make it right in any case, but eroding your liberties and your freedoms and trampling on the First and Second Amendments, and maybe more, in the, sake of, to the, in the name of trying to prevent something like this from happening? Never. Never. Don't ever allow it. Don't entertain it. And laugh at these people when they blame Sarah Palin for the ravings uh, and, and, and the murder that's committed by a guy like this. It just makes them look unbelievably stupid or proves the point that they are. Have a great day. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow.